I heard he was light skinned stock with a Haitian accent. Jewelry fast cars and he's known for flashing. Rob got shot in 94, 1994, and Rob, and um, which left a month left of December. And then you got 12 months in 95, that makes it 13 months. You got nine more months in uh, 96, which makes it 22 months. So he was he was able to, to give his statements for 22 months, his grievances, let off any steam he wanted to for 22 months. And now he's been dead 22 years. Listen while I take me back and lace this rap, a real live tale about a snitch named Haitian Jack. Ironically, right? So, this is my thing. Pac got shot in 94 on November, and he went to the hospital. He gave up some interviews there. He talked to reporters. Then he went, got sentenced, to, I think, the day or the week, that same week. Went to jail, had interviews with various journalists, right? Not one time did Pac say, Jack snitched on me on that case, right? Knew he was working for the feds, same crime, different trials, nigga, picture what he says. Different trials, what does that mean, my nigga? Dudes have different trials all the time, okay? Because they feel they got a better chance to win on their own. That's, 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 that's normal for those of you who don't know the game, right? My thing is this, he never said nothing when he was in jail. All out warfare, eye for eye, last words to a bitch nigga, why you lie? He never said nothing when he got out of jail, and he had over a hundred interviews. Not one time did he say, Jack snitched on me, told on me, or showed any proof. Paperwork, his lawyer gotta get paperwork from the DA. If I said something or signed something, his lawyer is entitled to that information. It's called discovery. For you niggas who don't know what that is, right? So all I want to know is this. These 22 months Hat Pac had to get at me. Set me up, wet me up, nigga stuck me up. Heard your guns bust, but you tricks oh, never shut me up. He only got that Big and Puff. I mean, yeah, Big and Puff won't hit him up. He didn't get at me. He didn't say Jack did this, Jack did that. But as soon as, because as soon as he died, this song comes out. Now why didn't this song come out when Pac was alive? Cause Pac knew it was a lie. Cause Pac knew that song was never supposed to come out. That was just something they would do in the studio, you know, and just talking shit, weed it up. Getting back to Pac now, um, that song was never supposed to come out. What Shook did, he added wood to the fire. Touch one of mine from everything I owe. I will destroy everything you touch. Play the game, nigga. And Pac is a fire that's always burning. And all you gotta do is add wood to it. And it's gonna go. Fuck the rap game, nigga, this M.O.B. So believe me, we enemies. I go against all our lives. Flames are gonna go higher. And he set that boy up and lost his life. Now, many of you are saying that if what happened at Quad didn't happen, you know, Pop wouldn't have ended up in, in jail. No, but it ain't the Quad thing that put Pop in jail. It was the bitch, that lying little slut that was on Vlad TV that put him in jail, right? And I'm going to get my day in court with her. I'm going to dress her later on. So, when you, when, you look at, when you look at all the facts, is this. Number one, if she never made those, those false accusations against Pop and me and Fuller, Pop would have never went to jail and had to sign his life over to, to show. You feel me? That's number one. Number two, Pop getting set up at quad. Pop knew he was being set up, playboy. Pac went over there with his gun knowing he was being set up and went anyway because he wanted to show whoever was calling him that he, is, he ain't scared. He brought his gun and his ego. What he doesn't realize, right, Brooklyn niggas move a little different, homie. You know, and Pac ain't ready for that. That's not his life. He come from theater and acting. And this was a no show. This was the real deal. You know what I'm saying? And they got at him. Let me tell you something about me. I would never order a hit on Pac or set Pac up because I don't set my friends up and I consider Pac a friend. Anyone who knows me throughout my whole life knows this. I don't rob my friends, I don't set them up, and I don't hurt my friends. Because if I did, I wouldn't be here. Because what goes around comes around. You feel me? 
So that would never happen. And another thing, if I set Pac up, I would just tell you I set Pac up. Because I'm not afraid of none of you niggas, playboy. Are you kidding me, my nigga? Huh? You don't even want to see my team. Believe me when I tell you. And they out of here. And they hungry. And they want to get at y'all. But I'm not, not going to do that. Because you niggas ain't worth none of my niggas going back to jail. That's, that's, that's number one. Number two, who's scared to tell y'all we set Pac up? That's that. If I did it, I tell you, the nigga who did it, he should just tell y'all. Man, I want to apologize. I want to apologize to the massive for letting these sucker ass niggas catch me out there like that. I talk about suckers. I'm talking about those who perpetrated to be either my friend who were wearing wiretaps, who got on the stand and lied, man. I want to apologize to those that I let down for letting some suckers play me. And um, I just want you to know, man, that um, I just, I didn't know. I just didn't know that these dudes was that jealous. That jealousy would allow them or make them do the things that they did. And did I mention, promise to pay back to me henchmen in due time, I need you bitch niggas just listening, the world is mine. Cause he's never coming home either. So you might as well be honest and just say, look man, I'm the nigga that set Pac up. And be done with this bullshit. You understand what I'm saying to you? And, 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 and the second part of it is this though. Pac went on over there for $2,500. If he felt $2,500 was enough for him to almost lose his life and get robbed, that's not a, that's not nigga that's thinking. If you know you're being set up, dog, fall back. Tell a nigga you cancel and see who runs out of the building who moves. Then you know who to look for. You understand? Like I said, if I set Pac up, I just tell you. Because number one, the statute of limitation ran out. Number two, we ain't scared of nobody out there that want to defend Pac, man. If that be the case. You know what I'm saying? We hard to find, play. Well, give us a call. My thing is this, man. Until y'all get some proof, just do me a favor and shut the fuck up.